Well, St. Patrick's Day is this Sunday, you may have noticed. And when it comes to Irish food, you've likely heard of soda breads and Irish stew. But what about chicken fillet rolls and spice bags? Well, our producer, our story producer, Alan Regan, is here with a look at modern Irish cuisine. And you've just put a plate in front of me. And mm -hmm. I expect you'll be explaining that to us. And Who will indeed. Right away. So, chicken fillet rolls. Uh, what are they? And... I suspect if you put one on a plate, there's got to be somebody in Vancouver who makes them. There is. Uh, the quick explainer is that it's a chicken sandwich, uh, <laughs> but served in a baguette okay. with various fillings. And uh, a couple of the more authentic Irish bars and restaurants uh, serve these in Vancouver. One of those is the Frying Irishman, which is now serving food out of Donnellan's Irish pub on Granville Street. I met their co-owner, Stephen O'Brien. He prepared a chicken fillet roll for us here on the early edition, and he explains what goes into it. We add our in-house made garlic mayo, which is very popular here between the Irish community. The chicken is seasoned similar to a southern fried chicken breast at home, which is also the most popular choice for your chicken filler roll. We add a hefty portion of cheese to the top of the chicken, and then that is placed under our salamander oven so it gets melted. Today, we are going to add shredded lettuce, then we add some fresh tomato, and then finally, some red onion. A lot of our customers like to add a portion of chips with the chicken filler roll because it goes nice for a lunchtime dish. And it's also an Irish tradition to cut the sandwich in half because it tastes better. And that is the chicken fillet roll that you have in your hand now, Stephen. That I have just tasted, and you've just you know, very graciously said, you have mayonnaise on your face. <laughs> uh, the mayonnaise is actually really good. This is great. This is a great chicken sandwich, and the baguette is really nice. I mean, it's it's uh, the uh, baguette's crusty on the outside, but nice and chewy on the inside. And, um, uh, yeah, okay, I'd eat this. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I would finish this. I've already taken a bite of it, but there mm -hmm. you are. Here, I'll demonstrate it for, uh, for the people, and there you go. There you go. All right. Um, um, can, can you customize what's in there, by the way? Can you like personal, like personal, make a personal order out of it? You, you can, actually, yeah. But, but you should be warned because uh, the debate is pretty fierce over what should and shouldn't go in a chicken fillet roll. There's a popular Facebook group called Irish and New in Vancouver. <laughs> so I asked its members this week what they like to include in their rolls. Uh, Rebecca replied. She likes stuffing, crispy onions, taco sauce. Adam likes mixed peppers. He likes lettuce, stuffing and mayo. Uh, Connor got criticized in the group for his uh, opinions on this because he likes hash browns. And <laughs> Peter replied saying that that's controversial. Personally, I'm actually with Connor on that one. Hash browns are delicious in a chicken fillet roll. Do not knock it until you try it. Um, and if you can't find hash browns, just dunk a couple of the fries in. Well, exactly. I've seen people do that all the time, put fries in their hamburgers, for instance. Okay, so that Facebook group, though, that you're talking about, they, they play a part in the in the story of the spice bag. And, and we're going to get to that in a moment. But um, what exactly is a spice bag? Yes, uh, this is another fast food dish. And it's sold commonly at Chinese restaurants in Ireland. It combines breaded chicken, fries, peppers, chilies, onions, and a load of salt all fried up together. And uh, sometimes it's served up with fried rice and with curry sauce too. And one of the places that does that is Sweet Mandarin uh, here in Vancouver. Okay. Um, and I'm guessing from the name Sweet Mandarin, that's not actually an Irish restaurant. Uh, well, yes. And, and yet they still managed to serve the Irish community yes. with this. And this is where that Irish and New and Vancouver group comes back in. Because as far back as 2017, members of that Facebook group noticed that if you combine some of Sweet Mandarin's existing dishes, they come together perfectly to make an Irish spice bag. So Irish customers then took that feedback back to the restaurant. I spoke to the co-owner of Sweet Mandarin, Ricky Huang. He explains what happened next. Irish customers tell me, put together. Uh, inside I have four, four items, uh, sugar pepper chicken, sugar pepper chips, and egg fried rice and carrot sauce. They say if together, uh, all put together, make the spice bossy. There's really pepper in the Irish. And then uh, are all, lots of the Irish customers, people see that, and then uh, come to my restaurant. And now it's on the menu as its own item, the spice bag. And that's what you have in front of you now, Stephen. And I have just tasted that. And um, it's a little odd. It's a bit <laughs> of an odd combination. It's almost, and it's got the sauce on it or gravy or something on it. It's like, mm -hmm. 
It's like Chinese poutine. It's very carby. It's very, yeah. I have done that before, actually, where instead of curry sauce, I put um, gravy and cheese curds to make like a spice bag poutine oh. um, out of it, which uh, is, is, look, we're, we're talking about things that appeal to the part of my heart that yearns for home, not the part that's concerned about cholesterol, here, folks. <laughs> so just roll with it. Um, and um, you have brought in a Coca-Cola as well. Um, yeah. And is that to counteract the sodium bomb that I've just put in my mouth <laughs> it's good to wash it down it's good to wash it down with a soap but with a soft drink be it coke whatever it is you're you're having yourself but uh yeah i think that's that's part of the traditional way to enjoy it's a good a idea bag. it's a good idea it works um now ireland of course i mean you know it's far away um what role does food play in that connection to home i mean for people like you and for the so many irish people we have in the lower mainland now yeah for me for me it's huge um you know there's a what i kind of keep coming back to my own childhood and there's a cantonese takeaway in my hometown of carlo which closed down unfortunately during the pandemic but we would always order their chicken curry and fried rice on friday nights growing up that was our you know weekly tradition at home we'd buy the groceries at a store called super quinn we'd bring it all home my brothers and i would tear apart the plastic bags and make costumes from them and then we'd settle in to watch the famous late late show on rte television oh my god and my dad would bring home chicken curry and i thought that food was the best thing in the world and i felt so validated when they featured that cantonese takeaway on a tv show that featured some of the best in ireland um you know I, like obviously i feel you know grateful to be here in vancouver you know, you know i've tried out so many new things and i've broadened my horizons so so much but some days my taste buds really need that nostalgia so it's lovely to have irish dishes available here and i actually asked the co-owners of the frying irishman about this uh, ali jimenez in just a moment but first here's Stephen o'brien again the slogan for the business is cheaper than a flight and I guess the, the story around that is that you don't have to fly home just to get a taste of traditional Irish food. It is available here in Vancouver. Do you know when you travel to another country, when you move out of home, you start to have the crave for the food, you know, mm. and especially you're missing home. So I think this is the best thing ever that Irish community will get from yeah, the Brian Irishman. Cheaper than a flight and less time consuming, I will add as well. That's true. But uh, some inspiration there uh, if you're looking for some modern Irish dishes this St. Patrick's Day weekend. Alan, thank you so much. This is very different from what I expected when it came to Irish food. I was expecting stew and soda bread and something involving a potato. But this does have potatoes. It does. Yeah, there's in, some fries in, in there. In the form of chips, yes. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it. And uh, to everyone, Banachtin the Fela Gorov. Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. And the same to you. Thank you so much, Alan. Thanks, Stephen. Alan Regan, associate producer with us here on the early edition on CBC Radio 1.